Trinidad and Tobago clearly is not a real place because a man who say the one thing he know about his business because he father had a business and he father a business so good that the business is to buy air condition for Bali's air house. He's a businessman, but bigging up a man who taught in business across the whole country simultaneously as he get up the talk that was going on and he had no clue. But Trinidad and Tobago is not a real place because Keith Christopher Rowley back when he was trying to talk about a stupid man from England with a kind of red haired a madman who was trying to attack the people partnership government about what some um analytica and the police investigator said there is nothing stupidness rowley come out and say trinidad is not a real place but the same rowley come and call in people idiots and all the idiots who disagree with him and his policy of oppression his tyrannical oppression and dictatorship his putting up balise in president's house his putting a balise in the police service commission he's putting balise in calypso in everything turning trinidad and tobago into a cesspit of balise jews anybody who disagree with him which is like 90 percent of the population just waiting on a chance to vote them is idiots and he go send them ukraine run it archie Mr. President, reading this piecemeal, rushed, haphazard, Firearms Amendment Bill 2022, brought to the Senate by this failed PNM government in an atmosphere of runaway crime, pain and fear, in the hearts and minds of the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, I am left asking myself, if Trinidad and Tobago is in fact a real place. We're talking about whether Trinidad and Tobago is a real place. I wish, well, every time I read that, I wish they end up in Ukraine. And I am not going to Ukraine. I, along with my UNC colleagues, will be right here fighting tooth and nail against the tyranny and oppressive nature of this PNM government until they are resoundingly removed from office by a united people. Satan, move, let we pass. Move, Satan, move, let we pass. Hey, Rowley, go in Lake Oto and lie down. Stay there. Make your bed right there where you deserve to be. Because any prime minister who in any form or fashion would make fun of another nation, a sovereign nation who is being ravaged by war, children are being killed by bombs, missiles, no school, no electricity in the height of winter, freezing to death, starving, living in fear. Any human being, far less a prime minister, who will find that it's something funny to say about sending his citizens there is a total jackass and you rowley you never fail to impress those of us who know what an idiot you are because that could never be funny that could never be diplomatic that should never enter the thought processes what's your next joke send people to turkey and syria those who criticize your government is that your next joke 